Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here showing the arm triangle for Mount. Recently, of course, used by Randy Couture versus James Tony. Look at the fight again. I haven't I watched it a second time, but he was totally setting it up this way, I believe, on James Tony's right arm, and then I think he got James in the left arm eventually. But he was doing a better setup on the right arm at first. But James Tony obviously must have pretty strong arms because he was framing out and stopping it. The way to set up the arm triangle from Mount, and of course, you usually want to hop off, can be finished from Mount. Chemo did it. I bumped into Chemo like two days ago at a stunt audition, actually, which is pretty funny, against Tank Abbott, who I was uh, being a sparring partner to at the time. But you usually want to hop off the side one. But anyway, here's the setup. Uh, a lot of times, you know, maybe I'm playing with the head hooked. I'm not going to be here or I'll get rolled. A lot of times we're just playing down here in MMA. Maybe I'm hitting, you know, I'm tired from the punching. Sometimes maybe you do gas yourself out a little bit, and I'm here. What I'm going to look to do is scoop under this elbow. I have to get my wrist bone underneath his elbow, and I'm going to grab this hand to his armpit. I'm going to hook his armpit, and I'm going to throw it, okay? And even if it defends here, I'm going to, I'm going to do in one motion a, a jack, a throw by, okay? So the jack across arm triangle. I'm going to look for this here, okay? And then I'm going to stop here, and you saw Randy trying to do it. You try to walk your chin and duck and push with your bicep, and by hooking the head and the armpit, that's the most important thing, around the corner. Randy was trying that in Abe's tour. Then you're gonna come down, of course. Now, because he's smaller, I'll show it on a bigger guy in a second. Because he's smaller, of course, I usually finish guys this way, and you see Randy does it, and any big guys do. Smaller guys usually will want to arm triangle and go to their own head. I like to, if I'm gonna arm triangle, if it's a smaller guy, sorry, I'm gonna go to the knee on belly and do the stretch. Okay, that's one way and then tap them out, the arm triangle, okay? Or, I'm gonna go, see we're here a lot of times. Man, we get under this elbow where he's tight. Hook your hip, come around, see that? Hook your hip, come around with the wrist under the elbow, and then jack attack, bam, cross, armpit, head. Now we're working, 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 get under and down. I usually just finish with some kind of gable grip. Actually, I usually use the Gene the Bell grip, thumb in. Um, you could, I guess, palm it, uh, no thumb grip if you want. I always almost use the gene, the bow grip, but hop off to side. I like hip to hip, and then I like to drive forward on my toes, like my duck under the arm triangle, um, that's a big one on YouTube. Okay, I drive forward on the toes and hook the wrist and drive across to cut off both arteries. So my wrist will cut off this artery, and this driving across will cut off that artery. Let me use someone bigger so okay. Thank you. Again, we're popping the guy, we're looking for s bones we're looking for our leg locks, um, you know, whatever. Sometimes I'm down here though, and I'm just based, pepper in, chicken wing, oh, I'm sorry, chicken wing, <laughs> elbows, punches, hook under this arm, base off to the side so you don't get rolled. You never hook under the head and get rolled this way if you guys. Keep your knees tight if you want. Hip, hand to the hip, coming down to the elbow, wrist to elbow, and then you're gonna keep your weight this way and then kind of come windshield wiper style, jack across. Okay, see, he's letting me, I would have been here right away. But let's say that he stops here, guys. So hand on the armpit, hand on the head, chin. Kick, Randy was here against James. Work your chin, trying to bump it across. You gotta clear the elbow, it's hard. Bam, okay. Then I get a little deeper, I switch my grip, I hop off to side mount, hip to hip, sprawl. He actually, I think, had his knees down. He actually want your knees up and push forward. That gives me another 11 and a half, 12 and a half inches of, of force moving forward. And I'm going to push forward and come across. Okay, there's my arm triangle. Other guys like to clock out. That's not wrong. I just don't think there's good body control there. I prefer hip to hip. With this grip, palm to palm grip, I prefer hip to hip. Driving in at a 45 and across. Okay. Or if he's small enough, maybe he let me get him deep enough here. If I can arm triangle to my own head, I'll go with the knee on belly shin stretcher, stretching him across and out and stretch. See what I'm doing? I'm elongating him. This is okay too. Okay. You don't want to stay in the mount. Usually hop off, get it deep, and then hop off the best way. But the important thing is the is the setup. Under this here, jack across.
Okay, so there's your arm triangle setup. Armpit and head, jacket across. This works on big guys, works on everybody. What's important is to, to do it fast. Let me kind of do it for real here. Sorry if I bump you. Let's see, we're working here. We're playing. I got under this elbow already. Bam, cross. Okay, if that didn't get in front of his face, that's okay. That's up some of my rolling. So what I did is a rolling lock instead of the traditional key lock. It's more catch style. It's working the elbow. That's okay too, and I'll show that really fast. Um, next, how to set up the key lock Americana from the mount in MMA. Thank you.